The USDA this week released preliminary results detailing the spread of avian influenza in the United States. The agency's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service believes wild birds first introduced the virus to commercial poultry. Further, in addition to instances of less than ideal biosecurity measures, it's also found evidence to support the idea the virus can spread through air. Avian influenza has affected more than 48 million birds across the United States and has taken a toll here in the nation's top turkey producing state of Minnesota. While Iowa has lost the most birds due to avian influenza, Minnesota has reported more detections than any other state in the country. The Minnesota Board of Animal Health is leading the response efforts here. To learn more about how the state has responded to the virus, we talked with Bethany Hahn from that department here in St. Paul Monday afternoon. In total, in Minnesota so far, 108 farms have been affected by highly pathogenic avian influenza. It, that's in 23 counties. The distribution has been across the state, unfortunately. Our response in Minnesota has been a swift one. We are following USDA's guidelines for how we do respond to this disease. It includes surveillance testing, euthanasia of affected flocks, and then of course working alongside the producer through the entire process, which includes getting them to the point where they can restock their barns with birds. What is the timing of the effect case has been in terms of how long has it been since you've uh, confirmed a positive? It seems like it's really been snowballing up here. Yeah, we confirmed our first case in Minnesota on March 5th. And then we had a period of about two, two and a half weeks where we didn't have additional cases. And we were really hopeful that that would be all. But as we now know, that's not the case. We have had all of the farms since then, since probably the end of March, we've been identifying additional flocks. And you're right, I would say probably mid-April, we probably peaked out with our number of cases. Now, it's been 10 or 11 days in Minnesota since we have had another case, so we're very hopeful that that trend continues. Can you tell me about the depopulation efforts uh, disposal sure. as well? Sure. Most of our infected flocks in Minnesota have been turkey flocks. Minnesota's number one in turkey production, so it's not super surprising that, that we would have more turkey flocks affected. And the, um, the, the depopulation of these flocks is important because what it does is it helps us to control additional spread of the virus. It's important that that's done quickly. And so we have euthanized over 9 million birds in Minnesota, euthanized or have died from the virus. Um, and again, that's a preventative measure. It's also more humane than allowing birds to die from the virus. Um, in terms of carcass disposal, we have been able to, most of our producers have done in-house composting, meaning the, the composted birds are, um, hap it happens inside the barns. And um, you know, all things considered, that process has gone fairly well, considering it's a large scale event and we've been able to do it pretty quickly, all things considered. Have you begun repopulating any, any of the flocks? Yes, I'm happy to say that yes, we have. And that was a recent development. Last week or the week before, my memory is I'm, mm -hmm. it's, it's escaping me right <laughs> now, but I, our first farm repopulated not too long ago, and then we had another farm repopulate last week. So we do expect that trend to continue as well, as a lot of the farms are now getting through the composting process and then cleaning and disinfection, and then after that, they would have the ability to restock. So we, just like the number of cases kind of increased for a while, now we're in the recovery mode, and we do expect many of those farms to start turning over really quickly now, getting back to business. What's the outlook for the rest of the summer? I wish I could tell you for sure, but what the experts tell us is that if this virus acts like other viruses, viruses don't like sunny, hot weather. And in Minnesota, we're finally at that point where the weather is pretty decent. It's one of the few months that we have really decent weather in Minnesota. So as, as the weather continues to warm and hopefully it stays that way longer, we do anticipate that the number of cases will decrease and, and maybe go away at least for, at least for a few months. We're very hopeful of that.